some sense of what I'm thinking about, what I, what I know, what I've learned, it would surely cause the end of the universe. So what I've done, just to keep everybody safe, I forgot the secret. I'm very good at forgetting. I don't remember at all anymore. It's difficult. I mean, I used to know what it was, and now I only know that I knew it. But I know that I had to forget. Because the universe would end if everybody knew the secret. And of course, everybody would figure it out, because once I told someone such an important piece of knowledge that instantly people would start to spread the knowledge around and tell everybody about it. But I've already forgotten. I've completely forgotten everything about it. Everything that used to make sense to me before doesn't make any sense to me now. So I have no idea what the secret really was. But I know it was big. You don't have to thank me for forgetting it, it's just something I do. understand why that happened. Watching the show, you'd be calling in. Call in to the show. 1-800-Weirdos. 1-800-Weirdos. Call 1-800-Weirdos. Call, call, call now. 1-800-Weirdos. That doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean. 1-800-Weirdos. 1-800-WEIRDOS, weirdos.com. One eight hundred weirdos. Weirdos.com. One eight hundred weirdos. Weirdos.com. One eight hundred weirdos. Welcome to Weirdos TV. Please Skype Weirdos 999 to be on the show. Anytime. Skype us at Weirdos 999. Weirdos 999. Skype. And Skype into the show. Weirdos 999. That's right. You can Skype into the show. Right now. Skype into the show. Right now. Right now. Skype into the show right now. Weirdos 999. What is it? What is it? What is it? When you walk through the door, it's a lovely feeling when you're not there anymore. You 
never noticed what I said when I was there, so why should I care? You're only a bear, and I noticed it again. I always saw through your notices again, and you didn't know when I was thinking about you. You only said orange things. I never needed to know you. You never needed to hate me. We only wanted to go together. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to welcome a special guest to the show. He's a medical guest, and we're going to try to give him some medical advice. Ladies and gentlemen, with, with thousands of viewers on YouTube and just an absurd person, please welcome Mr. Pregnant. Welcome, Mr. Pregnant. Hello, everybody. Guess who is Mr. Pregnant? Schnacka schnau. Schnacka schnau to you. How how pregnant are you? How pregnant I am? Yes, how 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 pregnant are you? Well I've been pregnant for 16 years. Actually, I am making a man. 16 years, so you're gonna give birth to a fully grown human. Yes, I am giving birth to a full grown adult. So that way you don't have to take care of it. It'll be it'll be independent by the time it's born. Yes, I found out a way to avoid playing child maintainer. Just grow the child in my big belly. Schnack a crack crow, crack a crow. Schnack a crack crow, crack a crow indeed. But what hey, about? Can you say that one more time? Schnack a crack crow, schnack a crack crow, crack 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 a crack crow. What? I'm sorry. I, that that was like a magic word. Did you invent that word? Yeah. It, 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 what's which one? Shnaka quack quow? Shnaka quack quow, quickity quow, quing quang quang, quickly quang quang. Did you make that? Shnaka quack quack. No, shnaka quack quack, quickity quow reminds me of a duck falling down a mountain and it's to make it, it's crying all the way. Quack quack, shnaka quack, snack quack quack. I, I remember that, that old fable about the duck falling down the mountain. That's a yeah. famous, famous story that I used to tell my kids at night before they were born. Really? Yes. The duck... Why don't you tell it with me? The duck fell down the mountain. You, you tell the next uh -huh. one. And then... And then... The duck fell... And then what happened? Well, I, I think the duck was pregnant. Yes. The duck got pregnant after falling down... You know, I didn't know that falling down a mountain was a way to get pregnant. Well, you didn't, didn't you know you could get pregnant from falling on a mountain? I didn't know. Is, is that where all these kids keep coming from? Yep, they all keep coming from the mountain, the volcano. It, it's the volcano. So is it if I breathe in the volcano before I fall down the mountain, then the, then the kids become born? You, could, you, you will get pregnant. You have to remember a volcano is always in heat. Yes, of course. You're very wise, Mr. Pregnant. How did you, how did you learn all these things about nature? Did you? Well, because I am a lover of nature, you and I am know. part of the evolution process. You remember, we evolved like animals, right? I, of course. I believe me. I'm very evolved. You see, I've I've evolved to the point where I no longer have a body. Really? Got, Will yeah. you transfer? Into, I haven't evolved yet. You want to see my big man boobs? Okay, show us your big man boobs. Yeah, baby, those are hot. Wow, that's our These first. These are my sweet, Mr. Pregnant, juicy, luscious, voluptuous man tits. Most men are highly attracted to my man boobs. Well, of course. I get to turn a straight man gay because of my man tits. Of them. course, anybody would be so turned on by that. It's, our, it's the first shot of boob that we've had here on the show. My audience must be going crazy right now. You don't mind if my you audience is touching themselves. You know what scientists are trying to figure out? Why does milk come out my sweet man tits? I don't, that's a good question. What, is it chocolate milk? Is it chocolate milk? 
You have to admit, when you look at my sweet tits, you know you want to come over there and just nibble on it like the Easter Bunny. Snack a quack, 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 quack. Nibble, 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 nibble. Yes, you've made me thirsty. And I don't made you even, thirsty? Yes, and I don't even, I don't even, I haven't consumed anything in a thousand years. I stopped taking. You know what Mr. Pregnant drink when he's thirsty? Tell me, tell me. Milk, snack a quack, quack. Snack a quack, quack. You like to see Mr. Pregnant drink some baby milk on yeah. the show? Where on the show. Let's do this. Oh, yes. He's doing, he's drinking the milk. It's amazing. Here he goes. Mr. Pregnant is drinking the milk. Mr. Pregnant is drinking the milk. Mr. Pregnant is drinking the milk. He's got man boobs. Drinking the milk. Drinking the milk. Drinking the milk. I'm weirdo TV. Milk. Drinking the milk. Drinking the milk. He's drinking the milk. I'm weirdo TV. Drinking He's got the man milk. boobs. Ooh. He's got man boobs. Ooh. He's got man boobs. Ooh. He's got man boobs. Ooh. Yes, he, yes, he, yes, he does. Now, does the milk ever, the milk ever, oh, oh, wait, oh, wait, hold it, hold it, hold it, everybody, hold, hold it, everybody, just hold on, just, I think he can't, you have to remember, I'm 350 pounds, ah, that's interesting, that is the most cardiovascular I've ever done in my entire life, that was, that was beautiful, give me some time to recuperate, please, I, I understand. I I need to rest myself. I'm I'm phys- I'm physically okay, but I'm mentally exhausted from that. My my brain is. Hey, do you know what? Yes. What? So you want to know how I became the all? So would you like to know how I became the all encompassing brilliance I am? Snack a quack quack. Yes, I need to know how and why. <laughs> Yes. You want to know why they call me Mr. Pregnant? Well, I, I'm just guessing it was because you're pregnant. I notice you, I feel like you're very nervous while you're talking to me. Is it because I look like George Clooney? A lot of women tell me I look like George Clooney, you know. I, Do you see the resemblance? Of course, but I, it doesn't make me nervous at all. In fact, I find you extremely relaxing. You, you seem to have a way about you. You want to see what? You want to see what they call me Mr. Pregnant? Yes. We need to see that immediately. It's because of this. Because of because of that. That's your womb. Is that the womb of Mr. Pregnant? Is there room in the womb for another pregnancy? Is there I think there might be twins in there. Or triplets. Don't you think there might be several? Have you ever considered, Mr. Pregnant, that your baby might not be human? You might be harboring some sort of alien creature in there. Have you considered that? I am the alien creature. I am the alien creature, Schnuckashnow. Okay, Schnuckashnow, is that the name of the planet that you're from, Schnuckashnow? That's what I'm I'm from the planet Schnuckashnow. That's very interesting. I've never been to Schnuckashnow. Is it? Is it nice there? It's very populated. Very populated. Crowded, you mean? Yes. There's, there's 60 billion people on our planet. 60 billion. Is it a small planet? It's a very small planet. So you, you all have to be very polite to each other, I would think. No, we kill each other every time we get a chance. Oh. So, so life doesn't really you know what mean I that. Did? What, what, what did you do? No, people kill people for no reason there. You know why You know why a guy killed a girl on my planet? Tell me. Because she called him Prince Charming. And he didn't like that? Yeah, because he said she called, he, she called him Prince Charming because he, he said that she said that he, he used to look like a frog. Well, what's wrong with looking like a frog? This Kermit is a very famous frog. I would love to look like a frog. 
Wait, I could probably make you myself look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that. Hold on. You would not look like a fuck. I'm gonna. I've, I'm sure I've got a frog-like look here somewhere. Let me just pull that up. Yeah, that's pretty frog-like. Hold yeah. on. Hi, hey, I need to urinate. Can I go urinate and come back on wait? Okay. Weirdos.com. Okay, we're, we're gonna pause for a commercial while Mr. Pregnant urinates and takes another pregnancy test. We'll be right yeah, back. Yeah, because I, because I have, I have a very weak bladder. Okay, we'll be right back with Mr. Pregnant. Finally, I got my own computer. I was so psyched to explore a whole new world. I just don't feel normal. My friends are nice, but they just don't get me. I feel like such a weirdo! Where do you go to be understood? I found this online show. I can call in. I can express myself. Be on TV. Weirdos TV. Weirdos.com. Sometimes a stranger can be your best friend. We're back with Mr. Pregnant. We've learned a lot already from Mr. Pregnant. But what I'd like to ask you about is... Is there... Is there a chance that you could uh, sing us one of the songs from your planet? You know, one, one of, of the, my songs? From yeah, my one planet? Of, from the planet. Yeah, one of your, like, ritual songs okay, that you would sing. sing you know, for, for a celebration or for a funeral. You know, one of those ritualistic. Can I, can I play music while I sing one of my Mr. Pregnant songs? Oh, of course. I, I didn't mean to force music upon you. You can, you can play your own music. Titty like a woman, titties like a woman, I got titties like a woman. Titty, 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 tit
never gonna go where they go. Go where they go. Oh, that's right. No, we do all kind of dangerous stuff. Like one of the things I do. Yeah. One of the things I do, yeah, to, do. Um, to, to, to excite myself, I yeah. light my beard on fire. You light your beard on fire? Yeah, I'm going to take this and light my beard on fire. Okay. We're ready. Ladies and gentlemen, the beard... You want to see Mr. light this beard on fire? Uh, I'm a little scared, but if this is what you do for sexual gratification, who am I to tell you not to do it? Check this out. Okay, here Stop we go. Right Remember, folks, we to live. Okay. Oh my God, he's gonna light his beard on fire! Ah, 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 ow! Ow! The fire burns. The fire, fire burns. No, no, Mr. Pregnant. No, no, no. I'm so worried. It's, it's burning. It's burning his face. I just like my beard of my heart. I know. How did that feel? Are you are you still? Very like, hot. You like that? So it's like that's how you get off. With burning your beard. Uh, and you know how I know it works? I always smell something burning. Ah. Does it? It smells like victory. You want to see what else Mr. Batman could do? Of course. That's why we had you on the show. To see what you could do, and you, you're doing so much. Well, right about now, Mr. Pregnant is going to take this hammer. Uh oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit my teeth. You're gonna, you're gonna what? I'm gonna take this hammer. Why would you do that? I'm gonna take this hammer and hit my teeth. Your teeth? Are you crazy? Don't. No, I'm doing it for experimental purposes only, and I want to show people on the internet yes. and all over the world. Okay. And weirdos.com. Weirdos. Oh, show up, Mr. Pregnant. Okay. Show us. Show us, Mr. Pregnant. Show us what happens with the hammer. Guys, wait. You see, Mr. Pregnant hit his teeth with his hammer. Hit his teeth. He's gonna, Mr. Pregnant is going to hit his this. teeth. Mr. Pregnant is going to hit his teeth. There you have it. Hello I am and welcome. My teeth. Uh, Hello and welcome. He's hitting his teeth. Hello and welcome. I hope there's a dentist standing by. Ca calling all dentists. Uh, will somebody please answer that? I'm calling all dentists. Mr. Pregnant. You know what I realize? Tell me. It doesn't matter who Puckle Man is. No? No, because when you see a dentist, you have to smile. No, I... I I don't think that's true. Is that a law, or what happens if you don't? Now I'm scared. If you don't keep smiling when you see the dentist, you wouldn't get your teeth fixed. But what if I, what, what if I don't want my teeth fixed? I mean, what? Why do I have to have go to the dentist? If that, you don't want your teeth fixed, then you don't have any ambition. It's, it's. You mean it's part of the contract? But who wants to walk along with bad teeth? Well, you don't walk on your teeth. Walk on your teeth. <laughs> Ugly man blues. 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 And this one. Thing I got to do. What do you gotta do? Gotta, uh, do. 
Do it. Snuckers now, Mr. Pregnant. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, Snickers Raw Flicks now. Work it, work, leg out, throw, roll, ring Sticky Wolf, Sticky Wolf, Snuckerton, Snuckerton, Friend of Mr. Pregnant is a friend of mine. Do you want to plug anything before we finish off here? I would like to say that it's a pleasure being on um what would you like me to say? Is it weirdos.com? Weirdos.tv. Weirdos TV. Weirdos.tv. Well, I put some Well, first I like to I like to say I'd like to give a special thanks for appearing on weirdos.tv. And my name is Pregnant. You can find me on YouTube. But everybody already knows Mr. Pregnant. Everybody already knows Mr. Pregnant. Snicker 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 yes, Mr. Pregnant. It's really been a pleasure having you here on Weirdos TV. I can't tell you how much we appreciate it. So we're gonna we're gonna end the show now and and everyone who was watching tonight, go look up Mr. Pregnant online and get pregnant for 16 years. It's the only way. And Mr. Pregnant, good luck with your with your older baby and your your man boobs. We really bye. bye. Freedom, oh, freedom folks. for America. Freedom, freedom from America. Freedom from freedom. America. Freedom from America. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. That's all.